You know, a lot has been made about DJ Moore and what he could bring to the Chicago Bears, but I kind of realized I haven't actually made a video talking about what he brings to the Bears. I, I made a video talking about just him as a player. You can check that out on this channel if you want. But let's get into kind of the fit itself, because I do think that he could really uh, help fill a role that the Bears have kind of desperately needed. And I'm going to show that by starting off with a play that actually was a very good play by the Chicago Bears and why I think that him and Fields could actually be a great fit together. So this is the uh, play concept. It's going to be quarters coverage that the Packers are in. It's actually Echomania St. Brown, the uh, Chicago Bears receiver. He is the guy who's going to be, uh, you know, uh, running a good route on this play. Watch what happens. So first, he starts off this route, and you see Jair Alexander, the very good Chicago, uh, excuse me, very good Green Bay Packers corner, uh, playing a little bit far further in. He does have safety help, but you know, kind of right. It's quarters coverage, so the safety doesn't have to come over and cover deep if he doesn't want to. If he thinks that he should be better off covering something over the middle, perhaps, which is what he's doing on this play, then Jair Alexander has to stay further deep. But uh, you know, St. Brown does have some speed. As you see, he's able to blow by J.R. Alexander, which puts him in a pretty good position for Fields to maybe try and make this throw. Fields notices this, and this is maybe the thing that gets you excited if you're a Chicago Bears fan, is going to be what Fields does on this play. As you see, Fields is going to make a beautiful throw on this one that results in a big completion, and what gets you excited is is if you have a guy who can do that more consistently, a guy who can consistently get open in these types of situations down the field, that could make it so much easier to uh, extrapolate the value that Fields has in his deep ball uh, you know, game. I mean, again, when he hits on those deep balls, it's, it's a sight to behold. And so for something like that, it's definitely very exciting if you're a Chicago Bears fan and of just thinking about what DJ Moore could potentially bring to the table. Because going over to this play, while yes, that was very exciting, the reality is for the Chicago Bears, they didn't have a ton of those situations, unfortunately. A lot of their situations were maybe closer to something like this, where it's going to be man coverage that the Washington football team, also known as the Washington Commanders, are in right here. So, okay, Bears running a play action. Hopefully one of the receivers running the routes you see on the screen could get open. Right when this play begins, Fields runs the play action and is going to first look towards the over the middle route. That's his first read on this play, and he doesn't love what he sees. Again, maybe you could try to force something there, but it's not very open at all. So he's going to say, hey, I got two options on this play. First one doesn't look great. Let me try to figure something else out. So he goes over to his next read, and that one very similar to the last one of, like, again, could you try to force something through? I guess so, but that feels like you're almost, you might as well just shout 500 dead or alive as you're doing it. It doesn't seem like a great situation, so Fields is not going to do that either, and I actually think this is a great example of, you know, a take I've had is that uh, no quarterback looks good with bad receivers. That pretty much is always the case, is if you're a quarterback and you have bad receivers, it's really the worst thing that can happen for you. In terms of public perception because listen if you have a bad offensive line that obviously is going to hurt you as well but when you're watching it at home you notice the bad offensive line you notice okay there was pressure right away what was a quarterback supposed to do when no one's open down the field if you're watching the broadcast footage you might not even be able to see either of these two routes while you're watching it so for you it looks like fields is just you know not making the throw for whatever reason as you see fields is going to try to scramble out and then he takes a sack and you know some people watching that, if you're, again, if you're watching the broadcast footage, your reaction might be, okay, that's a bad sack, Fields. You have to get rid of the football. And in fairness, I would say that you could argue he should have gotten rid of the football there. But you know what? He wouldn't have ha even been in the situation where he has to throw the ball away if someone was just open. If DJ Moore was there and just won a one-on-one -on -one matchup, well, then you feel a lot better about the situation. And going over here, DJ Moore is the kind of guy who can win that one-on-one -on -one matchup. Something like this is a good example of what he can do. Going up against... Uh, Patrick Sertan, very good player, and watch what he's going to be able to do on this play in this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Right when this play begins, watch this subtle shift towards the middle of the field. Really, DJ Moore, a lot of what he does, a lot of how he wins is with subtlety. He does these small things that get him to be in position where he can potentially win. So he kind of, you know, makes it seem as though he's going over the middle just a little bit, but you see Sertan's hips have completely moved towards the top of the screen. 
So then when more cuts towards the bottom of the screen, you see that big separation that the ball was missed right there, which again, that's, you know, part of it might be, hey, DJ Moore, uh, not only is he going to help out Fields, Fields could help out DJ Moore as well. It could work out both ways, but you know, he was able to get open and that's the idea. That's what the goal of, as a wide receiver at the end of the day is give your quarterback a window to hit, which he was able to do on that play. And we assume he will be able to do for the Chicago Bears. And if he was on that last Bears play, I showed you potentially instead of a nine yard loss for a sack we're talking about like a 15 yard completion that's a huge jump in a football game and why wide receivers are just so valuable this play is a great play. I love this play by DJ Moore. So again, talking about the downfield passing attack and how this could really, you know, because again, that, that was not great last year, the downfield passing attack. And I think a lot of people think it's the receiver's fault. And there's no denying that's at least most of it, right? I mean, maybe if not all of it, it's at least a good chunk of it. And this play is a great example of how a receiver finding a way to make something happen. This is a great play by DJ Moore. It's going to be so small. So I got, you know, it's, what he does is such a subtle thing that I really want to, you know, highlight it, uh, you know, make a note of it. But let me just first off show what's happening. So right when this play begins, you're going to see that DJ Moore is not really open right here. There's, you know, again... One slight thing that he has going for him is that uh, Sertan has to look towards uh, Moore, can't really look towards the ball. So that's the advantage that you currently have. But as a whole, this is definitely uh, not a ton of separation. It's good coverage by Sertan. What are you going to do? I mean, he's a good corner. Well, DJ Moore is going to be a little bit creative right here. This is a very clever play. It's so uh, subtle. So again, watch what he does with his head. Uh, uh, you know, I want to show it a couple times. Watch him move his head back, which causes Sertan to move his own head back. You see, it's a little small thing, but it really does help out because now Sertan has slowed down a little bit. He turned his own head back, assuming the ball is coming, when the ball is actually not coming just quite yet. You see that little head movement? Because of that, watch how then he's able to get that little bit of separation. And look at Sertan's body language. He's so mad that he got beat that way because it was such a clever play by DJ Moore. Uh, if you can get a great corner to give that kind of body language after a play as a wide receiver, you've done something right. And DJ Moore does a lot right. And these are the kind of little ways he could help out Justin Fields. Hey, no one's open. Throw it to DJ Moore anyway. He could find a way to make the play work anyway. Not necessarily with just going up and getting it, but little clever ways like this. Just a fun, uh, very fun play by DJ Moore. So yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on DJ Moore and what he brings to the Bears in general. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.